Hey, welcome back to my channel. Got a little something here for you. Uh, someone asked me, how do you charge your 1S packs? I thought I'll do a real quick video and, and show you. Uh, so basically I have three 1S charging boards. Okay, uh, this was uh, first generation and then they came out with this one. They made a couple different improvements to it and then they came out with this one. And so far this one has been doing pretty good for me. Uh, the first uh, couple that I tested I had some issues with overcharging and undercharging and, and so on and so forth. Um, so, but this is how I, how I charge 1S packs. I have my power supply here. Um, if I do have a video on how to charge lipos, I got 10, I charge 10 4S packs at one time. And this is a power supply that I do it from. This is a 24 volt at 15 amps, 360 watts. So I have my 24 volts coming out here. I just plug this in here and we're ready to go. Okay. So not to make this video too long. So this is one way you can do it um, with a power supply big enough to handle. I mean, you could do uh, you know a whole a whole bunch of these. So that's what I like to do because I'll keep um, you know rotating my my whoops when I'm flying indoors. I'll I'll end up running three different uh, packs. So I'll charge three different ways. I'll have this one at you know 0 0.06 so you can see here I'll explain the board a little closer up but uh, 0 uh, 0.6 amps and then 0 0.2 amps and 35 uh, 435 volts and 420 volts and then on another one I'll have a different one so this will be like 450 packs for my pick and I'll run you know 350 milliamp packs on this one and 300 milliamp packs on this one so but you don't have to go through all that um, we can just grab one of these and we'll take this out of the way you can purchase this transformer okay and this transformer is 12 volt 3 amps and it has a XT60 on it so you can plug it in here and then you plug this in. Okay. Then you can see here that it's displaying channel one, depending on what you have set up here. So that's all, I have it all on high volt, so it's all at 4.35 volts. Okay. So you can plug all your lipos in. Uh, this one takes the uh, JST 2.0 and, and then the micro JST. So the one, I think it's 1.25. So when you plug this in, the LED will go solid. Okay. So it'll kind of lightly blink. That means it's done. And then let really bright solid is, is meaning it's charging. Um, now, of course, you can't exceed your 3 amps because your, your power supply is 3 amps. Um, so you have 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, you know, so that's 1.2, 2.4, and then another uh, 1.2, so 3, yeah, you're going to exceed it if you, if you run it all on high. That's going to make your, that's going to make your power supply really hot. So you, if you're going to run this type of power supply, you're going to have to turn all these down, okay? Let me go ahead and get a zoom in here. So as you can see here, there's a, a 0.6 uh, and, a, and a 0.2 amp charging rate. So with these little, these little uh, plug-in power supplies, you're going to have to run it down. So it's going to take a little longer. But you also have to keep in mind if you're doing like a 300 milliamp uh, pack let me grab a couple packs all right so like this here's a 200 milliamp okay 
So point two would be one C for this pack. Okay, so I got a really tiny little itty bitty brushed uh, whoop that I fly this on. And then this is a 350, a 300, and then a 450. Okay. So those are the, the packs that I'm charging with this. Uh, I don't have some of the other ones that I charge, like the SPC makers. They're like little fat bricks. But anyway, so 300 milliamp would be point, you know, 0 0.3 amp. That would be 1C, but see, this doesn't have that ability. Um, but it, for 13 bucks, it was good enough for me. Now, I'll run, I'll run uh, 0.6 uh, on my 450s and on my 350s because that's 2C. It's okay to run that high of uh, amp draw, but I can't do it with this. I have to use my bigger power supply. So if you're going to buy one of these with uh, with this little charging board, you got to make sure you don't exceed your your uh, amps here. So 12 volts at 3 amps. The 36 watts uh, power supply. So you don't want to burn this thing up. Okay. So we just plug this in. And then, you can see that channel one we can plug in our our lipo on channel one and then when it comes back around you'll see that it let me see if I can get this I hope you can see that so now 12.4 is what's coming in from our power supply and that's USB out and then channel one so 4.02 so that pack has 4.02 and I want I want to charge it to 4.20. So that's kind of how how and it doesn't matter on on these you're not parallel charging. This is not a parallel charging board. This charges actual uh, individual lipos, so you can plug in all six of them. Remember, I'm I'm down on the the point two or you know the smaller ampage. So I don't want to burn up my power supply. Now 450 milli, a 450 milliamp pack on point two is half a C, so it's going to take twice as long to charge. So that's the only bummer about this, this, uh, you know, having a smaller power supply. So channel six is 390, so that's that's good. I like to have all my packs charged up um, to storage, so 385 is, is exactly where I want it. Channel 4, which is, that's channel 5, so 397, so that one's a little bit over. And this one I'm charging up right now because my daughter wants to fly her little whoop, so I'm going to go ahead and charge that one up. Okay, um, let me, one thing I want to recommend is something like this if you have whoop batteries you're you know charging and stuff I like to have one of these checkers instead of sitting here waiting on this to cycle around or, or messing around with this um, you can just plug in your lipo okay and it'll tell you what it is and that's really good to, to know you know what especially when you got a whole bunch of these you want to make sure you got a full pack before you go fly it, or you might land and, and you know, plug it in and, and go, you know, 386, perfect, you know, storage voltage. So you can just throw this back in the bag or charge it up and fly. So I recommend getting one of these. Little battery checker. So, pretty, pretty cheap little thing. And it's basically the same thing that's right here. But this one's really convenient. If you have any questions about 1S charging, let me know. A friend of mine has a charging, uh, his 1S charging board uh, is this one. And it is uh, something that he really enjoys and I've been around it enough to recommend it. So it seems to do a pretty good job. So 
give you a couple choices and and how to how to charge a 1s pack so hey, if this video was helpful you know give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if you hated it give me a thumbs down it all works enjoy the breeze